Hello my friends and welcome to uh, a new series of videos that I'm going to be trying to do here. I'm going to be on a quest for the throne. This is Nuclear Throne, a game that I have bought recently and enjoyed on the PlayStation Vita. Despite the fact the ports on the PlayStation Vita is a big pile of crap. Well, I've enjoyed the game so much I bought it on the PC and I'm going to document my quest to finish the game even once. Let's see, what's our settings? Do control. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay. Go up. Okay. Off. I don't need the tutorial. I've played this game a fair amount already. I'm mostly familiar with it. That's normal. Let's start with fish, because fish is default. Let's go. I've got a vague understanding of what most things are. I've played quite a few hours. I got to the nuclear throne once on the PlayStation Vita. I did not defeat it though. Ooh. I think this is a interesting game for let's plays as it were. It is a game that asks you to make decisions. It is also a game where things will go wrong very very quickly. Let's see what I've got. Shotgun! Yes! Shotgun is the best gun. The fish guy gets more ammo apparently. I don't actually know what that practically means if he gets more drops or whatever. Last guy the maggot. Got the button set up. There we go. Oh no, there's still, there's still more. In Nuclear Throne, you only progress to the next level once you have killed every enemy. Ah, here we go. You bone piles, of course. Ooh, shotgun's pretty. Uh, a crossbow, even. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. Into the portal. Every time you level up from collecting rads or radiation, you get to choose a power up. Let's see, which one do I want? This is a specific one for each uh, character, they get a different benefit. This one improves my secondary ability, which I barely use because I'm rubbish. Enemies touching you take damage. No, thank you, I don't have a laser weapon. Aha, the rabbit core. More drops. More health, more gun food. Very much used to playing this with an analog stick, so uh, hmm. maybe precision isn't my friend. And the benefit to the analog stick is, uh, oh dear, much better, much better range of movement on the old uh, should use the roll. Obviously the mouse is far superior for aiming, and the uh, dinky analog stick is on the uh, on the old Vita. Let's have a look. I've got no... We've got none of that left. Every stage uh, seems to have a weapon chest, a ammo chest, and a, uh, a rad container. I don't know where the rad container was. Did I get it? Did I miss it? I probably missed it. I didn't reach level 2. Oh uh, well. Oh dear, not quite used to the old WASD controls yet. This is going very well. Right. Oh dear. Ah, oh, the first boss, the big bandit. He's uh, just like these bandity characters, but bigger. He also does that, which is no good. And that is the end of me. The melting has been unlocked. We're going to continue with the fish for now, though. Because uh, melting's not that good. Well, he's got a great ability, but he has no health. And uh, I'm not nearly pro enough at this game to be able to do anything with a character with no health. Right. The slugger! I'll have that. It's a, uh, a shotgun that fires slugs, of course. Oh, watch out for the ammo. There's a, uh, as you can see up here in this bit here, there's five different ammo sorts. 
So you've got your, your bullets, your shells, your bolts, and then explosives and energy, I believe. Explosives and energy are pretty good. Oh, low bullets, really? He's a slugger. Ah, this thing's got an infected rad container. It's going to spawn a bunch of maggots. It's actually a good thing because they're really easy to kill and they give you lots of radiation. There we go, next level. Uh, what do we want? Impact wrists, strong spirit, bloodlust. Ooh. Ammo is a problem, so that's good. Health is a problem, so that's good. And that is also good, and that's just fun. Decisions. I think I'll go with ammo, because I don't have any. I'm going to have to... Oh, fudge. Right, okay. Oh, I'm just walking into bullets now. You don't actually have to shoot the uh, chests or containers. They will automatically open as you uh, touch them. Ooh, ooh, I've got bullets. I'm gonna try and keep my shells, I say, having max shells. Slug is nice and it, it kills these horrible scorpions in uh, one shot. There we go. Ooh, I wanna open this chest because that's an assault rifle. Let's take that. That's a five bullet burst. It's pretty nice, you can fire it very quickly. Here we have, aha, some good ones. Trigger fingers, not a fan of that one. Scarier face is great, boiling veins is good, and that's always fun. Let's go with scarier face though, because the, uh, the less health enemies have, the less bullets I have to use, and the less they'll be able to kill me. Ooh, that maggot drops an SMG. Oh dear. This is uh, suboptimal. There we go. Leave uh, shotgun weapons do more damage up close, of course, which is super nice. Super duper nice. Oop. Concentrate a little bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh dear. A lot of these flipping scorpions around. I wish they weren't. No, he keeps giving me SMGs. I'm not a fan of the old SMG. It's a very inaccurate weapon. What's the uh, trouble we have here? Is trying to get our radiation experience without getting killed. It's a fine line you have to walk between getting mad experience and not being dead. Okay, what do we want? Recycle gland is good. Hit bullets become ammo. That only applies to bullet weapons like the assault rifle. Hmm. Uh, let's go with that actually. Right. Welcome to the sewers. The, uh, the second area of the game, or the first transitional area, really. It's only a single level, there's no boss in it. Ooh, fudge. Oh no. I got touched by rats and I unlocked eyes. Let's carry on with the fish, though. Save something for next episode. Right. Of course, if I actually reach the throne and complete the game in this episode, that's the end of the series. That'll be it. My current plan is to only go until I complete the game. That's my, my great ambition, is to complete the game. This is a very difficult game. Ooh, the screwdriver. Screwdriver is a melee weapon. Doesn't use ammo. Not got any sort of a range, though. The wrench is a much better melee weapon. Let's stick with the wrench for now. The chief benefit of melee weapons is... Uh, they can block or even deflect incoming bullets. Let's see if I can demonstrate. Come on, shoot me. There we go. If that hit him, that would have damaged him. That's nice. That is super nice. Right. I don't have a lot of health and I didn't level up. That is no good. Right. The 
said, well, this is a game where things go wrong in a very spectacularly quick fashion. Doesn't take more than a moment for your excellent run to become absolutely nothing, because you're dead. Well, those, uh, I they call them roguelites now. An action game with a roguelike elements. Oh! Our gun went to the next floor. We'll get that in a minute. We got the rad container. Let's go. Whoosh. It's the laser pistol. Not too fond of the laser pistol, but it does kill things very nicely, and I don't have any other options, so. The old revolver is pretty uh, useful though, but the machine gun is superior. It's essentially an automatic revolver, you can fire single bullets or you can hold it. Death to the skull. Right. Ooh. I should probably roll more. The Fisher uh, can roll, of course. Unwieldy though. Not terribly handy. Right, what have we got here? Uh, that one is only good if you have a bolt weapon. Hammerhead, don't really see the point of it. Laser brain, no laser weapon. A rabbit paw, the best choice. Let's unload on these uh, these fleshy carcasses. Ooh, found a weapon. A shotgun. Oh, fudge. Um, It's never, never a good time for that guy to turn up through the wall like a flipping stay cool, whatever man. You know, the, the jar man. The jar man who comes through the wall. The stay cool jar man. I have no idea what I'm even saying. Ah, ah I do always congregate more the barrels. That's silly of them. These maggots are fairly annoying. They're dying very quickly though. They're a bit of an embuggerance, however, if you have... Okay, we're just gonna... Just gonna have that, and have that. Yeah, when you get a couple of powerful weapons and then there's maggots everywhere, that's a bit annoying. Even though I don't want the gun in the chest, because I have you know, nice guns already. Well, for the moment. You do want to open the chest, mainly. There's reasons not to open the chest, but hmm, this one's not very useful, except uh, if you really, really want to save a run. I'm not a fan of that one. I don't have a melee weapon, so I'll take it. There are better choices. We have uh, no better choice to make at the moment, though. Oh, oh dear. Must remember I can roll. Like our revolver came through the portal with us. I do like that shotgun. So nice not having to uh, think too much or aim. It's take a little while to kill these scorpions, however. Whoop, that wasn't all done. Oops. The laser sight on the. Uh... Oh, assault rifle. Oh, man, assault rifle's good. It's a bullet weapon. Bullet weapons have the most ammo. So let's take it. The crossbow is an absolute killing machine though. Right. But so is the assault rifle, and it has more ammo, so. It's a very good early game weapon. Ooh, ah man. I'm never gonna defeat these scorpions. I said I did complain a bit about the Vita version at the start of this video. It's pretty rubbish. It doesn't perform well, and there's there's graphical glitches in the HUD. I mean, how does that even happen? It's like they just didn't care. It's also got a weird glitch where the portal doesn't appear where it's meant to. I mean, in general, it's supposed to appear where the last enemy you killed was. I think like ignoring maggots and stuff. Sometimes. 
I don't know, it's a bit strange sometimes. In the Vita version, half the time it's born on the other side of the level and you have to go and get it. Uh, let's take sharp teeth. That seems like the best idea. The screw guard was pretty good as well. Mm. I say it's pretty good. It's good for one specific reason. Well, I haven't... I'll take it along just in case. But I very much doubt I'm going to get to use it. So I think having a melee weapon also uh, gives you random... Ooh! Oh hello. I'll take that. I'll take that. Wrong button. Right. Oh, at least these buttons and these mouse controls. It's much easier to aim, though. Much, much easier to aim. The chief benefit. I've got my stupid gaming mouse with the lights on and everything. Grenade launcher's fun, but I don't want it. So I have vague hopes of getting to the place where I can use a screwdriver. Very, very vague hopes. Right. Be nice to at least get to the sewers again. <clears throat> See how far we can get. A low HP though, that's no good. I think I should probably. My choice of uh, mutation upgrades, I seem to emphasize ones that give me ammo and uh, keep me alive, which is probably the best for a beginner like I am. Oh yes, the bandits here. There's a level 1 free after all. 1 free level, 1 free bandit boss. Right. Let's clear this place out. I don't want to get in the position where you're surrounded by scorpions trying to fight this guy. So rifle fires very quickly if you pick them up. Ooh, fudge. Yeah, I made it. Do I get everything? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I think. Lucky poor, that is good. Second stomach though, I think I will go with, because I need to recover health quickly. And that one that gives me uh do the old gives me four HP per Oh that was that was less than fantastic, I'll I'll admit that. Right. Dodging is something I need to work on. I've got low bullets, that is not good, right. Need to find some ammo. Oh, that's uh, that'll be helpful. Try and kill this guy first. Okay, we got the assault slugger. This thing's ridiculous. I'm not sure how long the ammo will last, but I only need to keep the screwdriver around for one more level after this one if I survive. See, there's lots of rats in the sewer. Oh, that. Oh, here he is. Let's see if we can get him to do his thing. It's a big rat that spawns lots of uh, mutant rats. The salt slug is sort of ridiculous though. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, excuse my language. A couple of other enemies in the sewers that we haven't come across yet. Yes, we did it. Okay, scarier face. Definitely scarier face. It's always the choice to make. Right. We are in the scrapyards. There's lots of horrible enemies in the scrapyards, including these weird fiery guys. These bird guys. Right, I've got no health. And the balls. Okay, that was that was the golden car. The golden car hides a secret. Oh no. Okay. Well, this is really going in a in a non-ammo conservation sort of way. Is the minigun, it uses a bum load of ammo. You don't have to. Ooh! Yeah, that explosion could have killed me, I've got to be careful. You don't have to hold the button down though. Those uh, sniper rifle, rifle robots are a pain. They can shoot you from an immense distance and their bullets move very quickly. Yes, health. Max health, that's wonderful. It won't last though. It will not last. Oh god, I can mind the portal. Oh, flipping heck. Oh god, that was an assassin. You gotta watch out for those bastards. There was a. Right. Assassins will sneak up on you. Oh, the toxic bow. Uh... Actually, I've got more bullets with this sort of slugger than the minigun. 
got to stop walking into fire, that is a big problem. This thing's a portal, I don't want to open it right now. Seems to be very much something to do with uh, pro strategies, the, uh, the portal. I am not nearly good enough to do anything worthwhile with what I will find in there. Okay, here we are in stage 3-3. Three, three. And I got killed. But I unlocked the plants, good. I think one more go and that will be it for this episode. I hope this is just something I'm trying out. But usually I do very, very slow paced full LPs of boring games that nobody wants to watch, so I thought I'd try doing something different for a change. You know, a game I'm enjoying playing, so why not try and share that with other people? People subscribed and watch my videos for some reason. Maybe you'll enjoy this, I don't know. Guys, it's the last, our last attempt. Let's uh, go out with a bang, shall we? Grenades are fun. Grenades are fun, but so is the wrench. Oops. Let me roll. Problem is, I tend to roll directly into danger. I think I've got all the stuff. Let's get to the next level. Full health. We're doing good. Okay. I've got a melee weapon, so let's give the long range a try. There you go. Increased range. Oh, I lost my train of thought earlier. The point that I was trying to make about the Vita version is that even though the Vita port is a lackluster, it is crossed by with the PlayStation 4 version. So, that's a, that's a nice ending to that story. Even though I bought a rubbish port of this game, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Still level 2, so no upgrade this time. Slugger should help us once the uh, once the big bandit arrives. I think I'll turn the, uh, the old boss notifications off once I reach all of them. But for the moment, well, on they shall stay. Takes a couple of hits to take out these scorpions with the wrench. I mean, even if I just use the uh, this thing for rolling around, it's, uh, it's a good thing to do. Right. Attacking through walls is a chief benefit of the uh, of the wrench with the long arms upgrade. The slugger is probably the more efficient way of doing things. So I do like the melee weapons in this game, mainly as a defensive measure. I mean, look at that. Obviously, the, uh, the wrench is only really good up until this level here. Because after this point, it stops being a one hit kill. Uh -huh. I see you there, Mr. Assassin. Speaking of one hit kills, okay, that'll do it for now. Thank you for watching and uh, comment or whatever if you want to see more of this sort of stuff from me or tell me what games you want me to play, I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, this has been Mr. Philby. I'll see you at some point, maybe. Who knows? Goodbye.